And welcome back. Glad you're here this afternoon. We are excited to bring you today the all new Hurricane 31C. But we're not going to stop there because the Hurricane has a beautiful new interior I want to show you. It's so overwhelming, I can't do it myself. Back by popular demand, Gary Libertowski. How are you? Good, good to see you today. You? Good to be back. You know, I, I, coming out here and I'm looking at this hurricane, I'm like, why does this look so different? And mm -hmm. then I realized we got a whole new package to talk about yes. that just really beefs this thing up. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to you to talk through the, the Max Pack, if you will. Yes, yeah, so this is actually very exciting. So we just released the new Max Pack upgrade. Mm -hmm. So what that is for the 31C, 34J, 34R, and 35M, um, it's now standard. What it is, it's now the unit's going to be built on the Ford 22,000-pound F53 chassis, 22.5-inch tires, polished aluminum wheels, and what that also is going to give you is increased basement storage capacity. So a lot of value, but the biggest thing is it's going to make the drive so much better. You're getting the bigger wheels, the bigger turn rating. I mean, it's, it's just going to be a phenomenal ride and drive that this really needed. And I think it's going to make a drastic difference, um, just even to the look of it. Yeah. It just looks better. It's going to drive better. And... Adding with that, I mean, it's got a whole new motor, too. We got oh. the brand new 7.3-liter V8 motor, Ford nickname the Godzilla. <laughs> and I drove one out two months ago. I drove one out to Virginia about 1,400 miles. And the biggest thing I noticed with it is it's a drastic difference. <clears throat> now, the noise is different. <clears throat> it's, I'd say it's, it is quieter. It is much quieter, especially going long distances. Because you're driving, it is a much quieter noise. You're running at lower RPMs. But the biggest things I noticed was with the braking, mm -hmm. also with the um, kind of, so when you're stopping, it's much easier. But going around turns, you know, on like expressways, you can, it handles so much better. And the other big thing is getting passed by semis with wind and everything, and you have much more control. So with that, with the new upgrades in the chassis and the motor and this new wheel, I mean, it's, I haven't driven this yet. I'm excited to do it, but it's going to make a huge, huge change that's really going to set it apart from a lot of the competition. Yeah, you can tell it does. It just looks a lot beefier. And actually, uh, this is the, the first that's out there, so I haven't driven one either. Uh, so I'll, I can't wait to get behind the wheel. But as you do, as you open the bays, I'll let you continue the tour. It really does open up that storage it's almost like um you know like a just a, a little sister or a little brother to the miramar and challenger now exactly you know exactly and there's we haven't had a class a motorhome now with this new 31c floor plan this short with 22 and a half inch tires so it's i mean it's a whole yeah. new ball game i like the front cap design this yes. year too i think is gorgeous this, i love i love the led lighting i like the chrome edition up here it does have a completely different look. It classes it up. I mean, it's awesome looking. And I think it makes it modern. Yes. I mean, having daytime LED running lights is huge. And I noticed that at night, when you have these on, it's bright and it's awesome. It just looks, yeah. when you're driving, just picture it, driving down the road, just having this cool look, nice appeal to it. Um, but yeah, I love those new lights. You get the fog lights down below, the automotively bonded windshield, um, but even just having a one-piece fiberglass front cap. I mean, there's just huge, huge advantages to that. Um, but going down the side, if you care if I talk about a little yeah, bit Yeah, go right ahead. What I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm not being rude and checking my text. What, uh, if you're joining us for the first time, I'm actually watching along. So if you have questions for the factory, right now is a great time to ask because we'll answer your question live. You're talking to our factory rep. So Garrett is here at the factory. He walks the lines are being built. He has input onto the way they're being built. He knows this product inside and out. So if you have questions, now's the time to get those answered. So I'm going to go ahead and ask the questions as you go, but to do it as not to interrupt Garrett as he talks down the sides. So go right ahead, and I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll scroll for some questions. Perfect. Now, first thing you always got to talk about is these side view mirrors. These are great side view mirrors, power adjustable, heated, and you got the dual mirror down below, so that way you get a great field of view, everything kind of lower and right near the coach. But it also has a new a side view camera right here, so whenever you engage your blinker, your blind spot's engaged up on the front dash. And then also to eliminate another blind spot, we have a trucker's window right below your passenger window here, so that's gonna allow you to see if there's a motorcycle next to you, but also it's a, called a doggy window because everyone's cut, everyone loves to have their dogs hang out here and kind of watch everything drive by. Um, so a really nice thing to always point out, and you're going to notice on this, this unit itself, there's four color options on the mm -hmm. exterior of the Hurricane. There's two um, just graphic packages, mm -hmm. and then you can get the partial paint option. So this right here is the Great Lakes partial paint. 
Your other option will be the real grand partial paint. Which we'll show you when we move down there to so the 35M. Blue compared to red. Yeah. Um, but it's just, you got nice automotive paint on both ends. But you're going to notice this exterior, this gorgeous glass. You do have the frameless windows, so no seals on these windows. If it be exposed to any UV damage, uh, rain damage, but it has a nice awning style window, so that way you can have it open the rain. But it gives it a nice side aesthetic to it as well. It just looks really sharp. Um, and then right below that, for everyone's campsite, you got to have the exterior entertainer, entertainment center. I know another one of our reps was out camping last week, and he had the Bears game on mm -hmm. out here, out in middle Michigan yeah. somewhere, and joined um, watching the game. Um, but you, it's on a swivel, so you can have it set up in any direction. It is magnetically backed, and then you do have a Bluetooth sound bar for a better quality of sound right there uh, with a lot of connections available. There is also, this is going to be a fresh water fill right here on the 31C, so it does not need pressure. So you can just, if you need water in a pinch, you can pour it in yourself. But now we talked about that max pack upgrades. The mm -hmm. big thing we got to show you is that storage. I'm excited to see it myself, but look at all of that pass-through storage. Well, it the nice thing is, is the height. You can really tell the height here so you can get those tall coolers in there. Yes, yes. So you can get large coolers in, um, any large item in there, lawn chairs, whatever it is, you can fit them in there, and there's a ton of space. And all of our storage compartments, rotocast plastic, so no mold, mildew, or rust. You can clean it out. Um, if it ever does get dirty with a uh, garden hose and there's drain holes in all the bays, and all of these bays are going to be lit with LED lighting, and they're all controlled through the multiplex system or the mobile app, the Vega Touch Mirror app. So I got my cell phone out here right now. I'm going to pull up the app. With one touch of a button, all the cargo lights go on. So it's so convenient if you just need to get some light in a pinch. And this is a really cool feature to start talking about. We started putting these in uh, around the year 2019. It's your one-inch freshwater tank drain. So that's going to make draining your freshwater tank drastically quicker. So if you're even cleaning your tanks, it, it's not going to be an all-day process. You can get it done in a pinch. Um, another really cool thing to point out, we talked about mm -hmm. this on the magnitude yesterday, um, but you have the new LED lighting on the awning. So one touch of a button on that mobile app, awning comes out. And then I'm going to show you these lights because I just think these are the coolest lights integrated into the the legs itself so it's going to illuminate more of the campsite uh, but it just gives you a really cool look to it as well and this does have the motion sensor being a legless awning so it will retract back in if you do get large mm -hmm. movement in the awning there you get a good full view of that thing this right here just your furnace this does get hot when the furnace is running so always be careful of that and then this right here is your battery compartment you get two house batteries there is space for more batteries and you do got the disconnects in there so if you do want to um, disengage them at the end of the season, take your batteries out, keep them nice and charged, you can do all that with one press of a button and then kind of disengage everything. This right here, um, the Hurricane has a four-point hydraulic leveling system that comes standard, and that's the motor for it. And we make it accessible for you, so that way if you ever need to access it, it's very easy within arm's reach. And this is also going to be your D-ring uh, pet connection. If you've got quads, ATVs, golf carts, you want to chain it up, you can tie everything up right there real quick and easy and lock it away. And then also, everyone needs power, especially nowadays, charging your phone, outside appliances. You get you nice 110 outlets right there. And then more storage right here. You see we have this big old box in here, and you can fit a lot of, lot of cargo inside all of our storage bays. That's the box from when we go inside the decorations in there. Mm -hmm. That's where they go. Another thing to kind of point out, you don't see it because it's hidden, but oh, yeah. all your tanks, they're yep. elevated above the belt line, fully enclosed, and your tanks will be heated. Nice. And you can control it through the multiplex you, you app on the inside. Let's talk a little bit. One of the questions we get, I know these are heated tanks. People constantly are asking us, this is the Four Seasons coach, and this is really one of those things where even though the tanks are heated, it's not designed to be taken in sub-zero temperatures. I mean, if you're getting below 32, even though they're heated, you're going to have to add some extra insulation, maybe, yes. maybe add some heating pads and really watch your plumbing. If you take care of those measures, then you can go out where it's typically a little bit colder. But the way it's set up right now, you're looking at about, what, 32 degrees or yeah. so. Yeah. And, and, and it's so easy to add some extra mm -hmm. insulation and fully insulate those tanks. Customers do it all the time. And people always talk about four season coaches. 30 minutes of prep and some orders on Amazon, yeah. you get a four season coach yeah. if you make it that way. But you just get a great view of this massive tire on the back end, the aluminum wheels. So it's, it's just a phenomenal look. 
Um, always, you always want to maintain your tire pressure. That's another thing. Maintain that tire pressure. Uh, once you fully load the vehicle for the first time, get it aligned so that way the, um, the wheels are sitting properly. Then right here, you got your big old propane tank. So it's going to power all your propane appliances. Um, it has a manual shutoff valve in there as well. Purge out the air. First time you use it if it has not been filled yet. Um, but you can fill this up at any propane filling station. So very convenient to have. And then right here, this goes directly to that propane tank. It's your LP Quick Connect for a gas grower or any other LP appliance. And that does have a regulator already on that. Um, so that's a nice thing to point out. And going to the back here, more storage, a lot of deep storage at that. Um, you can see we got boxes all over the place. You can fit <laughs> we actually fit a Venetian. Here. This is so big, we fit a Venetian in here. <laughs> I love it. But take a look at the back end because what you're going to get with the Hurricane is you're going to get that one piece fiberglass rear cap which gives a beautiful look on the back end and protects that back wall. So a really cool thing to point out, they do get an 8,000 pound trailer hitch on mm -hmm. this as well so a lot of towing capacity with it. You get a rear view camera mounted up top to the, um, gives you a very broad field mm -hmm. of view. Um, you can have it showing 24-7 when you're driving down the road. Whenever you hit it in reverse, everything will be displayed for you. Um, a nice feature to have. Fully walkable roof. You put that ladder up there. Not so you can have a patio right. party up there, but so you can do your maintenance. It's a fully walkable roof, aluminum truss, 15 inches off the center, so that way strength and stability to go anywhere up there. The other thing to point out up on the roof if you're climbing up there, you can go ahead and add extra solar panels because we do have standard exactly. solar on this. That's the, it's optional. Optional on this, it okay. It is optional. I recommend most people to yeah. get it standard just because it helps keep the batteries, but that's another new thing is you can get solar on this from the factory, and it has um, the capability of handing two panels um, with the plugs and the mounts that are already up there, so that's a nice thing to point out. But Everyone's, I'm sure, dying to see this. You want to see plan. the inside. Uh, as we head in, Anthony's asking, do you have a bunkhouse floor plan? We sure do in the hurricane. We do. Dude, one thing before we go all the way in, I forgot yeah. to mention, can't believe it. Slam latch baggage doors. Those are so nice. In. So easy open, easy close. Just had to point that out. Sorry. Go back to the floor plan. Yeah, Anthony, that is the 34J. Uh, we're going to go through the 35M in a minute. But first, this is the brand new 31C. And from up here, you're like, OK. Well, what's, what's new? We're going to start up here, and we're going to make you wait. It's the anticipation. <laughs> it's the anticipation of the way we designed everything from the kitchen back. So I'll let you start up here because I yep. love what Ford did to the dash, awesome. and I like the new uh, infotainment center this year. So I'll let you take us through this because it's, it's, a, it's a huge upgrade. It's, I think they needed it. It's a work of art. I mean, this changes it. I think if there's anyone younger getting into the market that kind of wants a modern cockpit, this totally hits the spot. So what Ford really did with this new chassis is you're getting a new steering wheel for one. So this is going to be a more modern steering wheel. It's kind of just looks like you're, something you're going to get in a Ford truck. You got your volume controls right here. Um, you can change the music there. Um, also the source for different radio or Bluetooth connectivity, whatever you want. You can set your cruise control right there. Navigate through the gauge cluster, which will be illuminate all your miles per gallon, uh, fuel economy, all that stuff. And then on the left side here, what's really convenient is you do are going to have your leveling system controls on the left side there. You are going to get outlets, so that way you can charge your phone. And when I was taking this out, the one thing I noticed was those charge up your phones very, very quickly, and it's a nice thing to have. Your mirror heater adjustments are right there. The uh, mirror adjustments itself is over there as well. You do get auto headlights, which is brand new for this as well, which is always you want to touch because you don't even have to think about it. Right. Leave it on. Um, and the nice thing is you can actually change the uh, sensitivity in the menu. Um, on, on that as well, so it's really a nice feature That's to huge. have, yeah. Um, another thing to point out, the nice thing with this Class A motorhome is you can pull into your campsite, throw it in park, you can turn the generator on right there with the touch of a button, you can pull out your phone, get your slides out, put your jacks down, get everything hand without even leaving the driver's seat. So set up and tear down is just a breeze. Um, you got your emergency start switch right there, which is just basically it's just a jump between your um, chassis and house batteries, it just bridges the power. You're going to have your sunshade controls, so you do have a power shade that comes down if you want to black out the shade while you're drive the sun while you're driving, or give you nice privacy at night. You've got your cab lights for driver and passenger. If it's dark out, you want some extra light in here. Start your generator, driver, passenger fans, and the big thing with these fans, it's not really to cool you down; it's to help defrost those front windshield. Because um, you get a great field of view with this front windshield up here. It's a full 180 degree view. I remember the first time I really took one out, drove it up to Maine right when everything was peaking and you can just oh, drive through the mountains. That's I mean, gorgeous. Oh, that is amazing. gorgeous. But I think the biggest thing with this is this new Xera mm -hmm. um, infotainment center up here. 
So this has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, but you just plug in your phone to the USB outlets down here and your phone immediately pops right up. It's a great picture. It's like 1080p, I would imagine, yeah. maybe even better. Uh, but it is just, I think, the best system um, we've ever had. I, when I used it, I was geeked out about it. It was, it's awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a great system. I mean, it's so feature rich. I mean, you have USB ports down below, micro SD card slots. Mm -hmm. Press the voice button, and you can talk to it. I mean, it's got everything you need. Huge. And I think the biggest thing too is you have an actual turn dial for the volume. Yeah. Nice thing there. And if you'd like to do Bluetooth calling, you do have a receiver right there that will pick up your voice if you are call, talking on the phone um, and you don't want to have the phone up to your uh, ear, which is now illegal in India. Right. Um, that, you get your climate controls up here in the front, hazard lights, traction control right there. But another huge feature to talk about, I know this, um, the tabletop's right in the way right here, but the doghouse with this new motor, because the big thing with this, um, the new 7.3 liter V8. No, oh, we're good. Well... We have a cleanup in uh, 31C. <laughs> that's all right, Maureen. I love it. That's okay. That's all right. excuse me, Tom. I broke a cup. Yes. You go ahead. So we'll keep rolling. Yeah. So, with this new 7.3 liter V8 motor that Ford added in, it actually sits much lower. So the doghouse was drastically um, lowered in height. So getting in and out of the driver and passenger seat is now a breeze. Um, it's still fully insulated, so no heat's going to seep up through here. It's very nice with the sound. You don't get much of that engine noise at all. Three cup holders, nice area to hold things. And then right here, you got your um, dash workstation. So if you have your Atlas out, a laptop, you can have it plugged in. You got some outlets up front here. So a lot of nice features up here. And we got to just looking up top here, I'll you're going to notice. You. Trade you. All right, I'll put my broken cup back and I'll let you carry on. So right on top of that thing, too. In the cockpit, you're going to have that drop-down bump. So that's a huge feature because, one, you don't notice it. If you don't need it, you don't got to worry about it. But if you want some extra sleeping space, that entire bump comes right down. So that way it just gives you a large sleeping area. Kids love to hang out up there. Or if you want more storage, you can use it for that. But you'll notice on the interior here, this is our Irish maple interior cabinetry. So now we have three options. This is your Irish maple. We have the new Carolina Cherry, mm -hmm. and then we have something else that's new you're going to see here mm -hmm. in the set. Mm -hmm. um, so it's nice thing with the Hurricane, kind of the trim level, it's one of our highest trim levels. So this is all going to be solid wood cabinetry. So this is all solid wood. The faces, the doors inside here, you get the nice hidden hinges on the inside. You do get a blue, uh, yeah, a DVD player right here for Blu-ray discs, and then the HDMI box right there to work all the TVs. But very large storage spaces in all of these cabinets. And then in the living area up here, you get the nice curtains to block out the sun yeah. and give you privacy at night. And you do get the jealousy windows to give you some nice airflow on the inside. And adding to the sleeping space, you do get the um, sleeper sofa right here. And then your dinette also mm -hmm. drops down into a, into a bed. It's just one mm -hmm. turn of a lever, table drops down, cushions go on top, nice sleeping space. Yeah. And storage underneath both sides of that dinette and seat belts, which is important. I Very mean, important. I mean, you know, especially when you're uh, out for the ride. And I mean, we mount these. They're securely mounted seat belts. I mean, we just don't throw them in and attach them to. Them. No, it's it's they're they're down the frame. Steel. I mean, it's, they put those in early on in the production process. It's so impressive. You, yeah, so you know that they are secure. Let's talk about the kitchen. Yeah. Because I love the way this is lined up. I love the counter space mm -hmm. and then the new fridge. Yes. Yeah. We'll get there in a sec. So your countertops up here, it's all going to be solid surface countertops, so it's a very, very nice, um, solid, well-maintained material, easy to clean. Um, just it has a nice, sharp look to it as well, very sturdy. Um, you're going to also notice your three-burner gas cooktop right here with the stove cover, so that way you can use more counter space if needed. Your sink is a double bowl stainless steel sink, and you do get the retractable faucet head right here, and that way you can wash all your dishes with ease. you got hot and cold adjustments. And something new they just added yeah. in here at Thor is the underglow underneath the um, countertop. So a nice LED lighting down there. You can see everything. Just gives a real sharp look. And you got your Furion oven right here um, with the extra storage down below. This is always a cool thing to look. The storage matches the oven. That's a deep storage bin for a lot of pots and pans that you may have. Hey, we got a question from yeah. Sherry asking about our multiplex. The app that she would use to connect yes. is Vega Touch Mira. V-E-G-A, touch, M-I-R-A. All right, there you go, Sherry. Download it. Uh, and, yes, that is what uh, the 2020, 29 M would use, is yep. that I get touch mirror. So you can find that on the Apple App Store, the Android uh, App mm -hmm. Store as well. So Google Play Store, I guess, is yes. what they're calling it. So 
that's where you have it. Love it. So great question. Um, now, another thing to really talk about, you're seeing this all over the um, kind of the housing segment right now is this black stainless steel. So what we added in was a black stainless steel contour refrigerator. This is a residential refrigerator. And what you're gonna notice is very large storage on the inside, a lot of area to put all of your items in. What you're gonna notice is the nice thing, why we use this contour refrigerator is it has rapid cold technology to get the fridge colder faster. Mm -hmm. And it's actually gonna use less amps. So we put a residential refrigerator in, but we actually equip it to handle it. So you have an 1800 watt inverter in the hurricane, mm -hmm. and that's gonna allow you one touch of a button, convert 12 volt power to 110. I know that's a little confusing a little bit, but basically with one touch of a button, without running your generator, you can have your fridge keeping cold while you're driving down the road. So that way by the time you get to your campsite, everything is nice and cool. The other thing I like about this is I can rub my sweaty hands over that and look at that. Oh, there are no fingerprints on nothing. that. I mean, I think that's probably why it's so popular yeah. right now. But your other thing with the 31C is you're getting large storage broom closet up front. So a lot of area for brooms, coats, uh, shoes even if you need. Mm -hmm. um, but kind of going back, pitch, yeah. Got nice pantry yeah. space right here. So three deep areas. And then you get the two pull out pantry spaces right here. Very large area for cereal boxes, whatever you need. Um, so it's always plus to have a nice pantry. And this is really sharp. You're getting the, um, the nice residential style um, bathroom area out here. Just to kind of get ready in the morning if you want to brush your teeth, um, wash your face, just wash your hands real quick. But here's what's great about that. Mm -hmm. You have this area here, and this is my wife's favorite feature. And for women, and as you know, when it comes to floor plans and stuff, that uh, it, it generally comes down to what uh, the ladies in the, in the relationship like. You know, Every usually time. we're going to get a motorhome and the guy's bought in. Mm -hmm. And it is, it's, you know, ladies, you have a lot of power when it comes to choosing the floor plans. In this one, my wife loves, because open that bathroom, because you have, because I travel with three girls. Yeah. Okay. My wife and then two teenage daughters. So look at this. You have a sink here and a sink here. Huge. You have a straightener on both sides, <laughs> hair dryer, all the makeup out. It's, it's and, perfect. And that's just this area to get ready because we have another area in the back to show you where the ladies get ready. Great. And where do I get ready? I get ready in the woods. <laughs> and true. this is where uh, my wife and my two teenagers could get ready. Oh, I love it. So get a good look at this back bedroom area. You get a very, very large bedroom here. So. You're going to notice you have the walk around bed here. You're going to get USB 12 volt and 110 outlets on both sides of the bed. Very deep storage on top of the bed. You got a lot of cabinet space up top. All three open up for deep storage. And you are going to get um, windows on both sides. So, one, you're going to get nice cross ventilation for air. But if you're at a cool campsite, a base of a mountain, whatever it is, you can wake up in the morning and see everything back there. I mean, just a beautiful sight to wake up to. Um, and then and then the other big feature of exactly. this new floor plan. Go on in, Tom. Take a look at this. Look so at this being a 31C, one huge feature this has. One, it's a walk-in closet. Just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. I love it. It's awesome. So you get a walk-in closet, but this is also going to have washer-dryer prep in there as well. So if you want that, it's you capable can, uh, That's huge. So see, so you got three areas for people to get ready. I mean, this is just a great floor plan. It is. It's phenomenal. It's got everything that you could need. Everything you could need. Great TV location, yep. too, with the bed. You're also going to notice you get dual 13.5 BT roof air conditioners. Going to fully cool down the motorhome. They work independently as well. And we're going to head over. You talked about three colors. This is one. We're going to show you the new color. I oh, love cool. how this turned out. And while we're walking over, I want to say hello to Nathan from Signature RV in the UK. He's oh, got go. uh, 29 M's and uh, 34 J on the Max chassis on the way. So if you're over in the UK and you want to uh, get yourself a motor home, go see Nathan over at, uh, at Signature. And this is going to be the other exterior yeah. color right here. So if you want to see that real grand partial paint, this is a good view of it. That's going to be our 35M floor plan right here. But notice, just take a look at those tires. I just yeah. can't get over it. I know, it does. It just, it just, it's impressive looking. It I is. mean, it is. It just makes a huge difference. I mean, you would, who would think that just a couple inches in tire size, but it you just, it's awesome. And as we talk about awesome, Tom, you go in and, and don't let uh, our mugs get in the way of this beautiful decor because uh, the design team, Kathy and the girls did, did just a wonderful job. They knocked it out of the park here. They really did. 
So this is our new luxury that. collection on the interior here, and you're gonna notice the cabinetry, the um, furniture, it's all that new modern color, yeah. kind of that lighter, when you walk in it just pops. Yeah. It really pops, and it matches great with all the countertops and the upholstery. Just gives you a completely different look. But it's the same cabinetry, it's all solid wood. It's just that new color that you're seeing everywhere in the residential market now. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful design. Yeah, it's all hand painted. Now the, the care on this though is a damp rag, that's it. Don't use any cleaners, just uh, wipe it down. There's actually some stickers in there. The other thing I like that we did on the floor plan this year was we got rid of that expanding sofa and uh, opens up some room yes. over here to this sofa bed over here, which I, which I like. I think it not, looks great. Not that I didn't like the expanding sofa, yeah. but I think this just opens up your living area. When the, you have the slide out, it just gives you a lot more room uh, to live and you got the nice fireplace in there. You said it perfectly. Yeah. I love that. I mean, it's a fireplace, but I still, every time I show it to a dealer, <laughs> I just love cycling through the colors. Yeah. I love that blue color, but the nice thing with this is this actually emits heat. A and lot you can of heat. Adjust the temperature, but if you just want kind of the ambiance of a mm -hmm. fireplace going, you can turn off that heat and just have the kind of look going, which I think is a great thing to always point out. And I'll tell you, when we have to, when Tom and I are shooting videos in the winter and we're out on the lot and we don't have anywhere to plug in and we can't turn the generators on for whatever reason it may be, this is honestly what we use mm -hmm. to heat the coach. It's a lifesaver. It's, it, it, it kicks well, out a ton of heat. in New yeah. York, New England in the middle yeah. of winter. Yep. I love that. Thing. Yeah, it's fantastic. And walk us through here because we've got a different bedroom and bath layout in yes. here. So and this is going to be a different layout in the 35M because you're going to have the king size walk around bed here. Still going to get the windows on both sides for great ventilation, uh, but you get a huge amount of wardrobe space. You get three doors that open up here, and that's going to give you hanging space for any clothing that you may have. And then over also, here, take this, is, is this, this is stackable, right? Is this yes. stackable? Okay, so your preps here, you got your uh, 110s there. So this is a stackable, the other is a combo, combo. unit. Okay, correct. So great, if you want the washer yeah. dryer, you can throw that in there. Great storage space if needed as well. And something else to always point out, no one ever notices it, but behind all the TVs, you get nice storage here. And if you got kids that want to play PlayStation, Xbox, throw it back there, plug it in directly to the TV. Always a nice feature to point out. Well, that's the other neat thing about this floor plan is the bed doesn't have to be raised up when no. you're when you did. So if you want to come back here and take a nap or play some play some video games exactly. or whatever, or what my daughter did was in the back when we were on vacation in the Ace and just you know on on her doing her texting her oh, friends, yeah. all that stuff, you know, because well, you can text your friends. Because we got WineGuard. We got WineGuard. So for those of you who don't know, we got the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G LTE hotspot that comes standard on all Thor Motor Coach product. But what that is, is that's going to give you on-the-go secured Wi-Fi if you subscribe to the WineGuard subscription. All you need to do is download the WineGuard Connect app, and then you're going to scan a QR code that's in your manual. It's also located in the dome. And you scan that. You're going to choose your subscription plan, get your credit card out. You got Wi-Fi. But it's a great feature to have. Everyone's working from home now. You get kids doing e-learning. So I'm hearing a lot of people traveling the country, working and doing school in an RV. And that's a lifesaver right now. It really is. Uh, as we head into the bathroom, the one thing that really stands out to me in here is I love the countertop. And when you walk in here, what this instantly reminded me of, Garrett, when I first walked in was when you walk into one of those really high-end hotels. You yes. walk into the bathroom and you're like, you're like whoa. whoa. And here's the nice thing is in this motor home, you don't have to check out. Mm -hmm. This is your bathroom and it's it's beautiful and spacious. Yes, it's it's gorgeous. It, it really gives you that great look. Um, and you'll notice the big old mirror there. Mm -hmm. You notice all those nice bathrooms have huge yeah. mirrors. So that's always a nice perk to have there. But great ventilation in that bathroom as well. Nice large shower. But this slider cabinetry opens everything mm -hmm. up and just gives you a great, great feel yeah. on the inside here. Now, it's a, it, you, you love coming home to this, no matter where you happen to be. And the other thing, too, uh, when you come home to this, you know you're coming home to uh, a quality-built motor home because we have an amazing new warranty, if you want to touch on that a little bit. Yes. So we just came out with all, starting model year 2021 in newer motor homes, we're going to have a six-year lamination and 12-year structural warranty that will be transferable to the second owner within 12 months of original purchase. just needs to be inspected annually, but that's going to be the largest longest and best yeah. warranty in the RV industry. Yeah, and, and, and for some of you watching um, in, in some of the comments, yeah, there's a certain hurricane video out there uh, right now, but I'm telling you what, 
Go test drive your Hurricane. Take it down the road. Take a look at the changes. Take a look at the warranty. It is a wonderful machine. And even, Garrett, can you take us through the building process? Because mm -hmm. even the way they're built is just a nice, solid structure. It is. So the whole building process, we actually do it. You go about 50 yards past this motorhome right now. That's where all the Hurricanes get built. Um, it's one of the longest plants we've had, it used to be the old Damon plant. So it's a phenomenal, phenomenal building there. Um, and how that really, when it goes down the line, first thing they're gonna do when we get the chassis, after we, we're gonna send it out to a company called Moride, they're gonna upfit our chassis. They're gonna strengthen it, lengthen it, balance the drive shafts, put a rust inhibiting coat on there, and it'll actually be stronger than when it first came to us by Ford. Once they make it to the proper length that we want, they're gonna put a foundation on there. And what their foundation is, it's a steel I-beam that goes from sidewall to sidewall. And it's a big old piece of steel. And you got them all the way down the motorhome here. And they're gonna balance that so it's perfectly flat and level with no more than an eighth of an inch of variance from any two points, corner to corner. So it's a guaranteed flat and level foundation. So that way when we put our flooring on, it's perfectly balanced. And your flooring and your sidewalls and your roofing it's a full metal cage because you have a steel floor that's welded in house. You have aluminum sidewalls and, and, and an aluminum trust roof. Now all the structures, floor, sidewalls, and roofing, they're all uh, vacuum bonded and laminated here in the plant. And you're gonna have full high density block foam insulation in all floors, sidewalls, and roofing. So it's fully insulated. Um, and you also, your flooring, it's one sheet of flooring. So no seams in this floor that could pop over the time as you're driving down the road. So the structural integrity of this motor, it's very, very strong, and it's a really cool process. Once we start allowing factory tours to come in, yeah. I want you to come out and see all of our plants, see how we build the motor homes. It's very impressive what we're doing here. Yeah, you combine all of that with the Max Pack. This oh. is going to be this is going to be a great ride. I mean, this even before be the 22 and a half tires, yeah. you drove great. Yeah, um, this is just going to be a whole whole new deal. Yeah, the V8 was a great upgrade. Mm -hmm. Ford really did a great job updating that. Um, I like that. I've always enjoyed the sound of a V8, mm -hmm. and so you get it in this with the big fat exhaust pipe out oh. the back. It does. It just I mean, it gives you a, just a now you're, you, you feel you feel macho. Yes. You feel like a macho man driving down the road. No, Ford <laughs> actually yeah. named it the Godzilla for yeah. a reason. Yeah, it sounds like it. I mean, does. It's, it's cool. It is beastly. So a lot of great features on the brand new Hurricane lineup. This is the brand new Lux collection oh wow it, here's a sign that it's fall <laughs> oh gosh you get Big these at your house they're everywhere horrible everywhere he wants to come check it out he does. He no, likes it. you know he what dude us, you know. out you go no stink bugs in here that it that's a sign that it's fall which means you're probably going to need to winterize your coach which is you know the new drain plugs are going to come in handy mm -hmm. for that and if you need a walkthrough on how to winterize we got that for you on our YouTube channel uh, Garrett talked a little bit about the Rapid Camp Plus Multiplex Wiring System, an entire tutorial on that. Uh, it's probably about 15, 20 minutes long because it go really in depth in every feature, so we just kind of cover the basics here. If you have that system, uh, Sherry, go ahead and watch that video. You know what I'm gonna do for you, Sherry? I'm gonna take and post the link uh, right here for you under the comments when we get done, so you can uh, watch that and you'll be up to date how everything works on that. Um, thanks for all the comments, the questions, we appreciate it. One more new floor plan to show you today. We have a brand new Miramar that I think you're gonna like. Um, it's got bunks, it's got a great huge bath, uh, it's, it's perfect. It's a great Miramar motor home. We're gonna show you that coming up right around four o'clock or so, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget ThorMotorCoach.com. If you are an owner, owner resources is a great tab for you. You're gonna wanna take and you type in your VIN, you create an account. Here's what this does for you. You want schematics, you wanna do a couple of things to your motor home, but you're not sure where the plumbing is or the wiring is, you can get the schematic for your exact motorhome. Every single component that went into your motorhome, you can find there. And all access to the walkthroughs, the quick start guides, uh, warranty guides, everything is right there for you. So go ahead and sign up for our owner resources. It's not like we're gonna spam you. That's not what that's about. It's designed to help you enjoy your motorhome experience. So until we see you in a couple hours, have a great afternoon, and we'll catch up in the brand new Miramar.